Today I'm working on block number 16 of the Riley Blake Designs 2022 block challenge. It's the very last block of this year's block challenge and I am running out of fabric. This block is called A Single Blossom and it was designed by Jerry Robinson. I'm having a little trouble picking out my fabric for my leaves and my stem because all of these dark colors that I want to use, all of these dark navies, they're too small. They're little bitty. Um, so I'm going to have to get a little creative. For my stem block, I made this um, foundation paper piecing template. So I don't have to have a big square. I can just use a strip like this. And then for... Um, my C squares here, I'm actually going to use a little bit of half square triangle paper um, to get that block so I can sort of stretch my fabric a little bit more. And I'm hoping that I can squeeze a few B triangles out of this fabric here. I'm going to roughly cut out my paper templates and then I'm going to sew and trim off camera. All my pieces are cut and my stem unit is finished and trimmed and my little adapted half square triangles are um, sewn and trimmed as well. So I'll set this aside for now and I'm going to use my B and my C to get started on the leaf units. Eagle-eyed viewers will probably notice this uh, icky spot right here. I wasn't very careful with my glue stick but that's going to disappear in the wash so I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to start by sewing one of my B triangles to each of my half square triangle units. I'm going to line up the points here and make sure that I have the excess up at the top. And next I'm going to get started on my flower block by sewing my F square to one of my I squares. And that's it for now. After you add the first triangle, you should have a straight edge here and excess over here, a little bit of a dog ear. I'm going to add my next B triangle, and again I'm going to line up this outer edge here so I have a straight edge, and the excess is going up. And then the next step for my flower is to add my D rectangle here. Very simple. And I'll take those three pieces to my sewing machine. I'm going to trim off these dog ears real quick. I'm just going to eyeball it, take that bulk out of there, and then I'm going to match them up with my H triangles. Put those aside, and then before I add the next flower piece. I'm going to use one of my J rectangles and sew it right along here so this piece will fit perfectly. Before you move on with your leaf blocks, I really recommend you square them up because one of my blocks was pretty spot on, but the other one needed a lot of help. I ended up using this four and a half inch square up ruler again. It's been really helpful for this quilt along. Um, I'm going to link it in my description below. I really highly recommend this one or something like it because I've been using it a ton. For this next step, we're going to make mirror images. So on one block, we're going to add a J rectangle to this side. And then on the other one, we're going to add it to the opposite side. So pay extra careful attention to that so nothing gets mixed up when you take it to the sewing machine. And now we can add the very last of the flower pieces to this block. My leaf units are done and they're mirror images of each other. And um, I'm going to set those aside for now because I have one last finishing touch for the flower block. I'm going to add my last two I squares to the corners here so we can give it more of a flower shape. So I'm going to sew directly on these lines. Okay, here we go. Last step. I've got my stem block and my leaf blocks. 
and a flower block. So I'm going to assemble these like a uh, an uneven four patch, left side, right side, and then sew them together. And of course I'm going to skip over to that finished block. I can't believe block 16 is done. I can't believe we made it to 16. This year has gone by really quick, and so is this sew along. Next week I'm going to put all my blocks up on the design wall to see how they fit together and I'm going to evaluate them, see if any of them stick out, if any of them need to be modified, or if I just have to completely redo a couple blocks. And I think I do because my first block is so different from where I ended up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!